The father's actions were shocking as he threw his son onto the road. However, what followed with the bear was truly remarkable. In an extraordinary story, a bear intervened and rescued the child right before a potentially fatal accident. Alexa and Nastia, both just 17 years old, tied the knot, drawing all the villagers to their wedding ceremony. Their love story was nothing short of extraordinary. A month after their wedding, Nastia discovered she was pregnant. The couple was overjoyed and began preparing for the arrival of their first child. They set up a small room, equipped it with a wardrobe and a crib, and bought clothes and toys to welcome their little one. Their plans extended beyond one child, as is customary in their village, where families typically have many children. When it was time for Nastia to give birth, Alex called his friend for a ride to the hospital. Unfortunately, his friend's car had broken down. This left Alex in a state of panic, and he immediately called for an ambulance. However, the ambulance arrived quite late, and Nastia's condition deteriorated, while her husband comforted her. Once the ambulance finally arrived, Nastia was rushed to the maternity ward. After a while, a nurse approached Alex and informed him that Nastia couldn't give birth naturally and required surgery, which heightened his anxiety. Five hours after the operation, the doctor emerged with a solemn expression and conveyed the heartbreaking news that Nastia had passed away during the procedure. Miraculously, their baby survived. Alex was devastated by the doctor's words, unable to fathom that his beloved wife with whom he had dreamed of spending a lifetime, was gone forever. He rushed to the operating room, where their crying baby lay. Initially, Alex couldn't bring himself to hold his healthy son, as he couldn't help but associate the child. With the loss of his beloved wife, he initially refused to take the baby into his arms. However, the compassionate nurses worked to calm him down, emphasizing that the baby needed his care and support. Upon noticing the father's fragile psychological state, the doctor made a crucial decision. He instructed the nurses not to hand over the baby to the father, fearing that he might inadvertently harm the child. Instead, he told Alexei that he could return home and come back after a week to collect the child. Alexei, consumed by his grief, showed no interest in the baby. When the hospital staff contacted him to retrieve his son, he coldly refused, expressing that he didn't want to see the child, and suggested they find a way to remove him. Nastia's grandmother, Natasha Ivanova, learned of the situation and decided to take matters into her own hands. She went to the hospital, took her grandson, and brought him to her home where she cared for him and provided for all his needs. Six months passed, and Alexei showed no sign of returning or acknowledging his son, Natasha Ivanova. The grandmother made several attempts to contact him, urging him to visit his child and hold him, because the baby needed his presence. However, Alexei remained unresponsive, choosing to ignore her each time determined to reunite the father and son. Natasha decided to personally visit Alexei, who had not seen his child since she had taken custody. She left her home in search of him. But when she reached his residence, he was nowhere to be found. Inquiries with a neighbor revealed that Alexei often frequented the railway tracks near the woods. Natasha immediately proceeded to the railway tracks to locate her granddaughter's husband. There, she found him sitting on the railing, clutching a bottle of wine and heavily intoxicated. Alexei was in such a drunken stupor that he could hardly respond to her attempts at conversation. 
even when she placed their child on his chest. He remained indifferent. Feeling desperate. Natasha made one final effort to reach him. She placed her grandson on the ground and, at that moment, spotted a teddy bear stuck on the train tracks. With an approaching train rapidly closing in, with incredible reflexes, she rushed to rescue the teddy bear, just in the nick of time before the train passed. Although terrified, Natasha rejoiced in her success. As she retrieved the teddy bear, a larger bear, likely the mother of the cub, emerged and approached her. Natasha abandoned the little bear, swiftly picked up her grandson, and hurried away from the area. Fearing a confrontation with the formidable wild bear, she walked cautiously, frequently glancing back as the bear, and her cub followed them from a distance. The grandmother couldn't comprehend what the bears wanted from her, as they showed no signs of aggression, and if they had intended harm, they could have easily caught up with her. She pondered whether they might want to express gratitude for her earlier actions, but couldn't find a clear way to communicate. The bear, accompanied by her cub, continued to visit Natasha's house daily. They would sit in front of her home for a while before departing. Eventually, Natasha came to understand that the two animals were peaceful and seeking friendship. She decided to offer them food and water. Slowly approaching them, as her two-year-old grandson joined her, the little bear engaged in playful interactions with him. One day, Alexei, the father, visited Natasha's house and expressed his intention to take his baby back. He explained that he had decided to remarry and wished to start anew. The news brought great joy to Natasha, who willingly handed over the child, along with clothing and necessities. Tearfully, she bid them farewell. Natasha continued to visit her grandson daily, finding solace in the fact that his father was caring for him, and planning to marry a woman named Olga, whom he had recently met. As days passed without a visit from the bear and her cub, Natasha assumed they had moved elsewhere. However, one day, as she sat in her yard, she spotted the bear and her cub approaching her home, their faces displaying eager anticipation. Upon reaching her, Natasha noticed that the mother bear carried something in her mouth. It was a little boy. To her astonishment, she realized that the child was her grandson, whom she had left with his father days ago. The child appeared calm but exhausted. After the bear placed him on the ground, the grandmother approached and was left speechless. She took her grandson into the house, reassuring herself about his well-being, and then promptly reported the incident to the police. Upon investigating, the police discovered that Alexei, the father, had suddenly remembered his ex-wife. While under the influence of alcohol, he had taken his son to the railway tracks and placed him there on the iron bars. While he continued to consume alcohol, Alexei's loss of consciousness led him to fall asleep by the railway track, with his son sitting on the tracks. As an express train approached, the bear intervened just in the nick of time, rescuing the child and carrying him to his grandmother's house. The bear left Alexei sleeping at the track. In a remarkable turn of events, the bear repaid the grandmother for saving her son months ago, by rescuing her grandson from near certain death. When his intoxicated father overlooked him, the police issued a warning to Alexei, stating that custody of his son could be revoked. If there were any future instances of neglect, Alexei deeply regretted what had transpired, and assured them that it would never happen again. Determined to make amends, Alexei decided to marry his girlfriend Olga promptly, and committed to caring for their child around the clock.
he made the decision to quit alcohol entirely and began dedicating all his time to his beloved son, who grew attached to him. Meanwhile, the bear and her cub continued to visit Grandma Natasha Ivanova at her house, spending most of their time there. Thank you for watching this heartwarming story. When a man was exploring in the forest, he met a weeping female bear. The mother bear approached the man slowly and begged him to save her cub. What predicament did the mother bear and her cub encounter? Will the man risk his life to help the bear? Unforeseen things have happened many years later. You must not guess the ending of this story. Robert and his wife live in the suburbs surrounded by mountains. There is a large forest at the foot of the mountain. And Robert lives close to the edge of the forest. He likes the environment here very much. And his wife loves the breath of nature as much as he does. So the two often go hiking in the forest on weekends. And no matter what the weather is, they can't stop their enthusiasm. Robert is also an avid animal lover. Every time he goes to explore the forest, he will carefully plan the route. Years of exploration experience have enabled him to always meet various animals. He will record and content related to animals, such as where they often live, appearance characteristics and living habits. Robert continues to learn about animals in this way. After a few years, he has almost become an amateur animal expert. Having documented many animals living in the area, Robert enjoys looking for animals every time he hikes. On a fine morning in spring, Robert embarked on his journey of exploration again. He walked into the forest full of hope. Because spring is the season when animals move around. And he was looking forward to seeing some magical animals. Robert walked along the route he had planned. And slowly walked into the depths of the forest. Suddenly. Robert was attracted by a cry. And he stopped to listen. It was a terrible cry. At least he had never heard such a sound. So Robert was not sure what animal it was making. Robert was in danger in the forest. But he still tried to keep calm and continued in the direction of the sound. He heard the cries getting more and more helpless, and gradually turned into howls. The cries sounded not far from Robert. But he walked for half an hour before he found the source of the cries. When Robert finally saw the animal in front of him clearly, he was shocked because it was completely different from what he expected. A huge brown bear was pacing around a bush and screaming sadly. Robert, who was hiding behind a big tree, couldn't believe that he had encountered a bear. He didn't dare to relax his vigilance, and he didn't even dare to move in front of this absolute predator. Robert was sure that he was in danger. Even though Robert didn't make any noise, the bear noticed his presence. Robert's legs trembled slightly, and he was ready for the bear to pounce on him. However, Robert soon noticed something interesting. The bear seemed not at all interested in the appearance of this human being. It just looked at Robert, sniffed around him, and immediately returned to the bush. To be indifferent to prey is extremely unusual for an apex predator. Robert worked up the courage to approach the bear slowly, trying to understand why it behaved like this. At this time, Robert noticed the two bear cubs blocked by the bear. They looked at the man in front of them in horror, not knowing what happened. This made Robert's doubts deeper. This is obviously a female bear with two cubs. Usually, female animals will immediately attack threatening intruders. But why doesn't the mother bear respond to his approach? The answer quickly surfaced. And after walking around, and getting closer to the she-bear who never stopped crying, Robert finally found it. Behind the huge body of the female bear, a large pit can be seen. Since the bushes are so dense, 
you will not notice this deep pit unless you look carefully. Robert had a vague guess in his mind. But he needed to get closer to be sure. He made the bravest decision in his life. He slowly crawled towards the female bear. Trying to make himself appear as non-threatening. The mother bear acquiesced to Robert's approach. When he looked down from the top of the pit. He discovered the secret of the mother bear. Under the steep and bottomless pit. There was a little bear cub. It turned out that this was the reason. Why the mother bear kept crying. And her tolerance to Robert was. Also because she was always worried about her child. Robert didn't know how long the cub had been down there. It lay almost motionless. And the mother bear's desperate cries seemed to confirm the cub's danger. What Robert was going to do next was driving him crazy. But he still made up his mind to save the baby bear. And he silently prayed in his heart that. The mother bear would understand what he was doing. Robert acted immediately. He took out the rope and nails from the tool bag he carried. Found a solid ground on the top edge of the big pit. Nailed the nails to the ground. And then put on the rope and threw it to the bottom of the pit. Immediately afterwards. He rode down the deep pit along the rope. Carefully picked up the dying bear. Put it on his shoulder. And climbed up while holding on to the rope. It was a tough move and the rope could loose at any moment. But in the end Robert made it to the top. The mother bear remained admirably calm throughout the process. Believing the man could save her cub. After Robert climbed up with difficulty. He hugged the baby bear to the mother bear. And then took a few steps back. Keeping a safe distance from each other. The mother bear picked up her cubs. Gave Robert a grateful look. And took the cubs to hide in the forest. Robert was very happy that he had rescued the baby bear. He was full of pride to be able to interact with such a mysterious animal. But it may be difficult to see them in the future. But Robert will not know that his relationship with the bear is far from over. One autumn four years later, Robert walked into the forest as usual. And before he knew it, he went to the place where he rescued the bear cubs. Over the years, Robert had never encountered them once. When he was recalling the past, he didn't realize that there was another follower behind him. A mountain master silently followed its prey. Looking for the best time to attack. Robert still looked around ignorantly. Not knowing that the danger was very close to him. Suddenly. The lion rushed over and pressed Robert to the ground in an instant. He couldn't move at all before he realized what happened. And his heart almost jumped out of his body. Robert had no chance of escaping. So he could only call for help. Hoping to attract nearby hunters. But it was obviously useless. The lion had already opened its mouth wide. And Robert closed his eyes resignedly. What happened later was beyond Robert's imagination. At the very moment. A huge figure rushed out of the bushes. And swung its paws to the lion's head. The lion screamed in pain and fled away. Robert staggered to his feet and found that. In front of him was a bear who had just helped him fight off a lion. They looked at each other face to face. And suddenly Robert realized that. This was the same bear he had helped for years earlier. The bear just looked at Robert to make sure he was not hurt and left. But Robert was still there. Crying uncontrollably. All this is because of the kindness shown by Robert a few years ago. The mother bear remembered it in her heart. And returned this gratitude to him. When the savior was in danger many years later. Do you have a different understanding of bears? In fact. Animals in the world are very kind. When humans warm animals with love. Animals will return love to humans.